Hello everybody, Vinom Lion here and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play The Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. Now, today, uh, actually not today, last episode, I forgot to return to the orrery to Hello. complete the, that quest. Uh, that quest that I, I had never completed before. So, of course, now I'm there and I will enter the Imperial Orrery to see what the fuck is that even about. Oh, that's exciting. I never seen that. Dwarven metal door to Imperial Orrery. Oh. Ooh, what's that? Oh. It's so dark in here, though. I will need a torch, actually, which I never use, but, uh... I want to see. Oh, look at this machinery. Imperial Orrery console. Okay. Damn, what is that? Okay, let's activate it. I have activated the Imperial Orrery. That's neat. That's neat. What does it do though? You receive a new power from the orrery. Care to elaborate? Okay, so I received a new power. Secunda's Brilliance. Secunda, by the way, is the name of one of the two moons. Uh, the other one is Masser. Uh, Masser is the bigger one. Secunda is the smaller one, I think. Or the other way around. I'm pretty sure, though. Fortify Intelligence, 20 points for 60 seconds on self, and Drain Willpower, 20 points for 60 seconds on self. Okay. That ain't great. But if you're a mage, I guess, you can use that to get a boost to your magic damage for a while. And that's supposed to be based on the phases of the moons, right? So I'm guessing... We'll have another power different days, if we activate it on different days. Okay, I, I will be back here uh, another time, just to see if that's the case. That is interesting, though. Yeah, the quest wasn't that interesting, though. Uh, you visit, like, some bandit camps, pick up some dwar Dwemer shit on them, and then you're done. Not the best quest, but, uh, like, it's a really small DLC that they put out there, so... I mean, it's fine. It's fine. It's just more content at this point, you know? Alright, and on that note, we will then... continue our wonderful journey... to the world... of the Mages Guild recommendations. I want to be done with those, just because, like, uh... I've done them so often that I I want them out of the way. Hello. Hello. Hey man. What is it, associate? Do you need something? I need a recommendation, baby. I'm afraid I can't just write one out of hand. That would be against protocols, you see. Come on. If perhaps you can clear up a small matter involving Irana. You can prove your loyalty to the guild and earn my recommendation. Sounds like a quest to me, boy. All right. Irana, you say. Who she and I have an unpleasant history. She does not care for guild regulations and errantly believes I am misusing my powers. I have seen that she is in town. Though she has not approached me, I know she wants something. 
I would like you to find out what it is. Sounds Determine easy enough. She's after, and how we may be rid of her. I do not want her here spreading her lies. Okay. Make Sounds easy. How can I help you? Uh, let's track the quest first. We already are tracking it. All right. She's at the bar. She's having a party. Hey, Irana. I'll lend you my ear, Irana. <laughs> ah, yes. You are a guild mage, are you not? Yet different from the others. Yes. Yes, this is good. There's a small matter with which you may be able to assist. It's nothing worth involving your guild in, I assure you. Best if kept just between us, yes? Big doubt. So, what say you? Big doubt. Uh, sure, I'm interested. Excellent. It's a simple task, really. All you need to do is fetch a book for me. The book is entitled Fingers of the Mountain. It is of no use to you. You won't be able to read it. Are you saying I'm dumb? I, however, can and would very much like to. You'll find it at an old ruin called Cloud Top. It's north of Coral, up in the mountains. I'm afraid I don't have an exact location. Great. Return it to me immediately when you have it. Make no mention of it to Tikius or anyone else in your guild. I will make it well worth your effort. Alright, that's prejudice against orcs, by the way. Orcs can read too, you know. We're not all big brutes. Not all of us. I am, but we're not all brutes. Alright, uh, Carol recommendation. Yeah, okay, I need to go back and say to Tikius what I just heard there. And I'm gonna fast travel for that because I'm extra lazy. Hello, Gil. What? Ah! Jesus, bro. What? Not only does it exist, but she knows where it is? Well, this is unacceptable. That book needs to be in the safekeeping of the guild. Okay. I trust that as a member of the guild, you would do the right thing and acquire this text before Irana does. Are we clear? Ignore her request. Go to this place she has described and return with the book. This is far more important than any petty squabble. Okay, my bro. I'll do that because I really need that recommendation. Because I want to gain access to the university, you know? Alright. Uh, Cloud Top is over there. So, let's go. Oh, it's so cool to have Shadow Mirror to go to Cloud Top because usually I may I do like the recommendation quests really early on in my playthroughs. So like I always have to walk there. And it's a uh, it's a bit of a walk, you know. And we found Cloud Top. This is it. Alright. What do we have here? Fingers of the mountain. We got charred remains. I found the book titled Fingers of the Mountain. I need to deliver it to either Irana at the Grimmare Tavern in Coral or Tikius at the Coral Mages Guild. I will deliver it to Tikius because I need that recommendation. Yeah, so there's just a charred body here. There doesn't seem to be anything else. So let's go back. All right, sorry, Irana, but uh, I got to deal with my boy Tikius there. Hey, my lizard. Go ahead. Fingers of the mountain. Found the book. My trust in you was well placed, it seems. Hand it over, if you please. Here's the book. Ah, yes. This is indeed the correct book. You've not been able to open it, I presume. Then all is well. I didn't try. You have shown yourself worthy of the guild. I can't and read. That, I thank Me you. orc. Can't read. You shall have the recommendation you need. Now, yes. I must ensure this book is kept safe. Excuse me. I can't read, but uh, you are helping me enter a university. Thanks, my man. All right. So let's go talk to Irana. I grow weary of waiting. 
Where is my book? Oh, not that. I gave the book to Tikias. What? Run! You gave him the book? What were you thinking? And here I thought one of you guild mages might actually have a brain. All right, all right. We can deal with this. Me we'll or get it back. That's all. Me brawn, You're no in brain. The guild, aren't you? You should be able to walk right in, find it, and take it. And if you can't, then break in. I want that book. I can do that. Bring it to me once you have it. I'll even still give you the reward I promised, despite your incompetence. Now go! Oh, hell yeah. I'll go get it. Of course you will. Do whatever you must. I require that book as soon as possible. I mean, you can chill too, girl. All right. So we will go. Do I have that quest tracked? Yes. Coral recommendation part two. So Tikias put the book upstairs somewhere. Behind that door. Let's close the door. Oh, that's interesting. That's a bug. Huh. Yeah, you just put it in there. Interesting. Yep. But the marker was on the chest even before the book was in. That means that quest markers are handled separately from the items. Uh, because like uh, I've worked on uh, several projects before where basically like no matter where the item is that's where the quest marker will be kind of deal so like if the kiosk has it on himself like the marker will point to him if it's in a, a chest it will point in chest etc but uh, I guess like in Oblivion's case like the quest markers are put on objects in a non-dynamic way which is interesting it must be like a pain to debug and to just go through because uh that's a lot of manual work there i've stolen the fingers of the mountain book from the coral mages guild i need to find irana and deliver it to her i know let's go talk to Tekias first let's see if he noticed uh, if his book is missing god damn Hello. What? What? Fingers of the mountain. Curious that you should inquire about it, as it has recently gone missing. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Me? No. Good day. You too. Thanks for the recommendation, dumbass. Back again, are you? Do you have the book this time? Yes. Ah, oh, wonderful. I'll just take this from you and get to work translating it. I'll need some time with this. Come and find me tomorrow. I'll be at the Grey Mare until I've finished my work. But please don't disturb me until I'm done. This is quite a delicate business, you see. I see, I see. All right, let's okay. wait 24 hours straight. Because uh, I don't want to wait and do other things and then come back and coral. I want it now. I want it now. Today. Well, it's still tomorrow, but it is immediate. You know. You, you know what? I, well, you get what I say. You get what I say. Girl, 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 give me the book. Oh, she's upstairs. You look like someone who. Can't she's in my see face. I'm busy? Without the translate. <sighs> Goody. You done? Can't you see I'm That's more than 24 hours. Oh can't you see I'm busy? Alright, so that's about three days now. I've got the muscles on you. How can I help you? 
I don't understand what Bliss hey girl. is doing with my Want some? Hello, my little friend. I have something that might interest you. I've committed most of the book to memory, but I took the time to write down a passage you might find useful. Cool, cool. It contains instructions for acquiring a very special power. You'll want to read it carefully and then return to Cloud Top. I consider this to be more than a worthy reward for your help. I believe you'll agree, assuming you're careful. Hmm. Okay. Let's read that. Irana's notes added. My dear helper, most of the text you've given me is well beyond your comprehension. Okay, okay, okay. Drop, drop, drop it. I'm afraid. I found one section, however, that had been appended by the keepers of the Imperial Watch, and their notes will be of use to you. Return to the ruins of Cloud Top. There you should find a section of pillars that looks remarkably unlike any other stonework present. The carvings on this pillar were made by the Aelids, and the pillar has been infused with significant power. The following was scribbled in the margins of the book, presumably by the same man who took the pillar from its original resting place. The notes are smeared in places, so I have included what I could decipher. Do note that this sounds rather dangerous and take whatever precautions you feel are necessary. <clears throat> Only seems to function outdoors where it reacts strongly to magic. Terrible power, capable of striking a, a man dead on the spot. Transported the stone to a secure location in order to study it more fully. Guild wizards brought in to focus power of stone. Several severely injured stone finally tuned to react to shock magic. Welkin stone necessary to harness stone's power. Success means power of shock unattainable through other means. Alright, so we need a Welkin stone on us. Do we have that? We do. We need to cast a shock spell at the pillar and receive a power. Do we have a shock spell? I don't think I have that, to be perfectly honest. Uh... No, I don't. Okay, uh... Let me go to Frost Crag real quick and see if I can't craft like a really shitty... Oh, but if I don't have any lightning spell, I can't craft a lightning spell. I'm dumb! God, I'm dumb. I need to go buy me a lightning spell. We will go to uh, Edgar's discount spells. Because uh, I don't want the best. I want cheap. As you would say. And my boy. Yes? Yes. Eh. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all... Uh, I want to buy spells. Have a look at my wares. I'm sure there's something to suit you. Uh, shocking touch. Shock damage, 10 points. Hell yeah, that's cheap. That's exactly what I want. Another. I'm super satisfied, my bro. Good day. You too. All right, let's go back to Cloud Top. And we will get a strong power. Uh, shocking touch. Let me quick save. Let me save, actually. And let's go. So, that's the pillar, because there's uh, things on it. I was struck by lightning and have been granted a powerful new spell. Okay, and I got a spell named Fingers of the Mountain. Finger of the Mountain. Shock damage, 40 points in 5 feet on target. It costs a lot of magicka though, 174. We have... We can't even cast it. Uh, we're not the most accomplished mage ever, you know. That's another recommendation done, though. We only have one more to go. 
And that one is an anvil. So excited. All right, let's wait until morning. So I can see the guild, the guild master, a girl. No associate. To earn a recommendation from me, you need simply prove you are able-bodied and prepared to learn something in the process. I am. Unlike some frivolous tasks you may be given at other guild halls, this is a serious matter and has consequences. Are you prepared? I'm down. I'm ready. Then allow me to explain the task. The Council of Mages has entrusted me with resolving a situation along the Gold Road. Several traveling merchants have been found dead along the Gold Road recently, with even more missing. The Council has asked that I put a stop to it. You are going to help me do so. Okay, uh, isn't that dangerous? Indeed, it may well be. I see no reason to shelter you from situations the Guild deals with on a daily basis. This is the important work, the work that matters. I have no time for Guild recruits that are useless in the field. This will be an excellent way for you to prove yourself. I like her. Go on. We believe the killings are the actions of a rogue mage. Battle mages have been sent to the Brina Cross Inn, the only common link between the victims. You are to travel north to the Brina Cross Inn and speak with Ariel Gerard. She will give you further instructions. All right. Let's do that. Bye. Let's do that. So the inn is not too far from uh, that uh, cave that I just fast traveled to, so... I should be there fairly shortly. In fact, I'm already there. Is that a bandit? Try to catch me. <laughs> Too fast for bandits. Hey. Sup, y'all? Alright, where's Ariel? What? Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. Actually, yes, I wanted to do that. No, I didn't. Can I can't seem to make my mind. Hey there, Ariel. Hello, stranger. What can I do for you? Cariel has sent you, as you know. Go and speak with Kristoff. Rent a room for the night. Once you have your room, I will meet you there. Okay. If anyone asks... You are a traveling merchant. Nothing more. Do not say otherwise to anyone. Got it. No, friend. I'm afraid I don't know the way to Shaden Hall. But good luck in your travels. Please excuse me. Good morning. Great act. Hey there, Christophe. Welcome to the Brina Cross Inn. Can I interest you in something to eat? Or perhaps a bed for the night? I would like a bed. Let me guess. Traveling on business? You don't look like you're out for a stroll. I'm a merchant. Ah, yes, thought so. We get many of them traveling through here. Oh, well, we used to. Haven't seen as many lately. What with the, uh, well, you know, the murders. I don't like to talk about it much, as it's bad for business. You just did, though. At any rate, would you care for a bed for the night? I'm not sure anymore. You know what? The, the thing about the murders? Not sure I'm into that. But uh, sure, I'll take right it. Then. The bed is just upstairs at the back of the inn. Sleep well. Christoph is a dumbass. Knowledge he offers training in blunt. In any end. Interesting. Pardon me. Did I hear you say that you're a traveling merchant? Yes. Don't you worry, what with the recent killings and all? I'd be ever so scared if it were me. I haven't left the inn in days, just in case. Well, you take care of yourself. I'd hate to hear about another senseless death. Good luck to you. Yeah, you almost killed me there with uh, that scare. All right, so let's go track that quest, first of all. And now I need to go and sleep for a bit. 
You know, I get my instructions in the middle of the night. Quickly, you must speak. All right, it should be safe to speak here. That's creepy. Once you've rested here, you need to continue along the gold road heading east towards Kavach. I shall be following out of sight, along with a fellow battle mage. Make no attempts to speak to us. Trust that we will protect you. I I'm a big boy. Should you be confronted by this cowardly mage, do not hesitate to protect yourself by whatever means possible. I don't need you guys. Once the mage has revealed himself, we will step in and settle a matter quickly. Now get yourself some sleep. You'll need to be well rested. Okay. I will do as you ask. Until 9 a.m. That's enough. I spend the night at the Brina Cross Inn. I need to follow the gold road towards Kavach and be wary of anyone along the road. All right. And those are the two battle mages. Whee! All right, so that's... That's a dead-ass horse. Do you have uh, some problems? I'm afraid your journey ends here, traveler. I'll be taking whatever you're carrying. After you're dead, of course. I do hope it's more than the last few had. They were most disappointing. That was my own quiver there. Yeah, so uh, she's the one who's been killing everybody. Bad girl. Bad girl. Easy girl, too. I need to talk to Carol in Anvil and inform her that Camid... Caminalda... Caminalda has been defeated. Thanks for the help, man. Also, uh, your horse uh, is not okay. That's... Uh, that's... Uh, what happened to you, man? What happened? Thanks for your help, man. That was uh, some uh, some good help there. All right, Kara Hill, give me my recommendation. So, what of the rogue mage? Has he been found? She's been found and she's been dealt with. A she, you say? And she's dead. Yep. Well, Ariel and Roliand did what needed to be done. No more innocent deaths, at least for now. You have done well enough for yourself. I'll pass along my recommendation to Raminus. Though I must say, I doubt it will do you much good in the end. You'd be surprised how easily they forget about the little people. She is. She's upset about that. There's something there. Bye. I have received recommendations from all the local guild halls in Cyrodiil. I must now travel to the Arcane University and speak with Raminus Polis. Hell yeah, guys. And on that note, this is where we will end today's episode. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I will be seeing you in the next episode. Have a good one.